Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with Fit to Love 100 Day Exercise Challenge. I, um, today it's Saturday. Oh, Dottie, yeah, but. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just living. I'm just living. I don't keep up with the days. Thank God for my calendar. I'm telling you. It is Saturday, March the 26th. Yes. And we are on day 86 of Fit to Love 100 Day Workout Challenge. Okay. <sighs> what a blessing. What a breath of fresh air. Yeah. Okay. So, what happened was, I worked out this morning. I wasn't, I was like, oh, I don't feel good. My stomach is all crampy. Something I I don't know if it's something I ate yesterday. Y'all, this is TMI. Y'all know I give it to you just like that. TMI. I don't mind spreading it. So I don't mind sharing TMIs with you guys. But something has tore my stomach up. When we got home last night from our little outing on the day, I'm going to tell you, I was in that bathroom. I don't know. I think what happened was... I really don't think it's what I ate. I think it's what I drank later that afternoon. On my way home, I wanted a cup of coffee. So I stopped to um, get me some Dunkin' Donut coffee. And they didn't have any equal. I usually use equal. I know equal is not the, sh the sweetener of choice, per se. But that's what I like. And I'm thinking about trying that other one that everybody's talking about. I the new one. I clipped the coupon for it. Y'all let me know if y'all tried it or not. This one here. The Zing by Stevia. I clipped the coupon to see what can I find a deal or anything on that to see how that tastes since that's the newest thing. And I've been seeing it. I want to say Harris Teeter has it on sale for like $5 um, this week. So with this $1.50 off, it will make a good deal because it's a big box. But I don't know how it tastes. So yeah. I don't want to waste that money on that. Gosh, can you imagine what? Super doubles would be a good time to get that. But there's no super doubles going on, okay? All right. So, I'm thinking about trying that. Um, did I tell y'all? Yeah, it's Fit to Love Day 86. Done 25 minutes on my treadmill. And my stomach's still not right today. But anyway, I think it came from that Splenda. And I have drank Splenda before, and I don't remember it bothering my stomach, but... That's the only thing I can attribute it to because I even went, we ate lunch slash dinner. I was, it was all combined. Um, it was around, what time was it? Maybe 4.30ish because we ate breakfast that morning and then we were out and about all day just driving and talking and doing things and we, um, I want to get my eyebrows done, too. I don't like the way she did them this time. She usually do a good job. But for some reason, I don't know. I guess they're okay. I don't know. For some reason, I looked at them. They didn't look that great. Anywho, <laughs> they'll grow out again, and I'll go soon. I'll get them done again. But anyway, um, so we didn't really eat. It was like a lunch slash dinner, and that's all we ate really was that. But it was a no. It was, mm, <laughs> yeah. Thank God I won't go on Weight Watcher points <laughs> with that one, I'm telling you, because they had these little squares of cornbread, and it was like the homemade cornbread with the bits of corn in it. Oh, my God, it was to die for. We went to a seafood restaurant in Moorhead City called Sammy's Seafood and Oyster Bar. It was delicious. Everything was good. Usually, you know, when you go to some restaurants, their food is kind of um, bland and not good, but I'm telling you, everything was delicious. Even though I couldn't eat much because I had filled up on bread, so I couldn't eat much of what I had got. But I got a crab cake and took a couple bites out of that. I got some shrimp, and they were fried, yes. And I got I ate maybe two of those, and I got oysters. I ate one oyster, and that's it. Oh, I got some fries and a twice baked potato. I ate maybe about six fries and took a bite out of the twice baked potato just to see what it tastes like and i bought the rest of it home but um yeah um yeah it was it was good it was a very good restaurant i would go there definitely again if for nothing but the cornbread you gonna eat your cornbread <laughs> yes that's what i felt like saying yeah like give it to me so anyway um it was good but um 
yeah. So the plans for today, I already told y'all I worked out, did the treadmill, 25 minutes, got it out of the way. Um, I had a baby shower to go to today, but I don't think I'm going to go because we're going to go looking again. I was going to take pictures of the places that we looked in, but I don't know why I didn't do that, but I didn't do it. So I wasn't, I didn't show y'all anything. And then the ones that we kind of looked at, um, we didn't like the ones that we went to yesterday. There was one that was okay, decent. I could live with it. Um, and But me and Derek both thought it was kind of small. So, yeah, it was kind of small. So, we wanted something a little bit more roomier. But I want something that's kind of closed off. I don't know. It's something about I like to walk in the house and walk into the living, my house. I ain't talking about nobody else's house. Don't nobody start coming at me. I ain't talking about y'all houses. I'm talking about the way I like for my house to be. I like to be able to just walk into the living room and not be able to see the kitchen. Maybe the dining area you can see, but not the actual kitchen. And I don't know why, but that's always been the thing. I don't know. I act like the people from um, New York, like my husband used to always say um, back in the day, like they each would take turns going in the kitchen to eat so that they had company so they wouldn't have to ask my, but that's not the reason why. <laughs> that's not the reason why I like that. I just think, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. That's just me. That's just how I like for my setup to be. So, yeah. So, um, so yeah. So that's kind of what we looked That house was like that. And I loved it. It had a pantry area and all. But like I said, it was a little small. But that would be my choice out of the ones from yesterday. So, yeah. We're going to go look again today and see what we can find. Um, we're just kind of looking. We're not ready to make a choice or a decision just yet. We're just looking to see what's out there to see what we, you know, we would want. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm just having a wonderful Easter weekend. Spending it with Derek. And we're just looking and getting out and about. Because like I told y'all, we hardly ever do anything. So, it's a breath of fresh air to actually get out and do something. Okay. So, let me show y'all my stats. Because I will talk and talk and talk. Y'all know that. How many minutes have I been talking? Seven minutes. Okay, so my watch is at 43.22. I only did 25 on the treadmill. And then I did some other things and came to make this video. So, just take that for granted. 43.22. And I burnt 212 calories thus far. And I'll see that. And it is March the 26th. And it's 9.34. Okay, so I think I decided which fit bit I want. Just got to work it into a budget plan from what all this other things look. I'm budgeting. I'm always budgeting, 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 budgeting something. You know? So, <laughs> yeah. So that's one reason why. I know y'all hear me talk about, oh, I want the coach purse. I want the coach purse. But I've been not buying a coach purse because I know it's other things that I want. I'm always wanting something. I just... It's always something on my list that I want. So, I kind of weigh my options out. Do I need another person? No. Do I want one? Of course I do. What's wrong with you? Of course I do. I'm putting my notes and things together that I've been writing. But I'm going to try to do some couponing. Now, yesterday he was driving. And I, he kept going by these places. He did stop me in the He did stop me on the way back. I'm like, there's a right aid. <laughs> there's a TJ Maxx. Oh, my God. There's a Hobby Lobby. Like, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm like, Dollar Tree, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. he, won't, he won't have in that mess yesterday. I'm gonna tell you that that coupon and coupon and coupon, and he wasn't thinking about it, he was not thinking about that coupon yesterday. I'm gonna tell you that. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna be driving today, so the car might just happen to pull over on its own inside of any good stores that we see because i love going shopping out of town because sometimes you don't have couponers in those areas and it makes for a good deal like when i went to see my son it was so good to go through that town because there were not couponers and i was able to find stuff oh man i got a belts coupon and i man and i just bought my mom's dress from belts and i forgot i had this 20% off almost every brand, even cosmetics, all day on two consecutive days, now through May the 8th. Would you look at that? I wonder what it had gave it to me off of that. That was a bonus buy. Most time they don't do the bonus buys. 
I got her a hundred dollar dress. It was priced a hundred and something dollars, but I got it for 50% off, so I got it for 50 something. So yeah, I thought that was a good deal on a dress, and it's all springy, and I think it'll look good on her. It looks like her. But anyway, did I tell y'all she asked me for an Easter bunny and some chocolate? Now I got to make her a doggone Easter basket. <laughs> like, come on, Mama. God, no. I, I said, I got you something, but it's not chocolate. Well, I better have an Easter bunny there somewhere. So I'm like, okay. So what if I show you this dress and say, this is what you were getting, but you wanted some Easter. You wanted an Easter bunny and some chocolate in a basket. So you take this and I'm going to take the dress back. How's that <laughs> for a deal? So anyway, I'm going to get off here for now. But you guys, y'all have a wonderfully blessed day 86. Fit to Love 100 Day Challenge. Get your workout in. Get up so you can enjoy the Easter day. Yeah, sorry I'm stuck in snot. But for some reason, I'm all nasally this morning. I've never been bothered with my allergies. But I tell you, this season, it is really bad. So it's not really bad because it's not. I can't say it's really bad, but it's bad for me for someone who's never, ever suffered from it. And now all of a sudden you are. So, yeah. Anyway, I will talk with you guys later in the next video. Remember, hang in there. You can do it. We got this. Talk with you later. Bye.